When it comes to the Philippines, you may positively associate it with white, remote, sandy beaches loaded with coconut trees and lush nature overlooking the beautiful clear blue waters of the Pacific. Well, you're not far off. This surely defines this beautiful island. But we're here to speak about its capital city, Manila. A buzzing city filled with life, traffic and tall buildings, a perfect definition of a busy capital that's home to more than 10 million residents. The city is packed with delicious restaurants, lively bars and world-class shopping. Thinking of the best things to do in Manila? Its unique tourist attractions, gastronomic places and entertaining activities will undoubtedly make you fall in love with the city. In this video, we're going to take a look at Manila and the top 10 things to do in the amazing capital of the Philippines. So, without further ado, let's get started. One of the top Manila attractions, Rizal Park, is just a short walk from Intramuros. It's one of Asia's largest urban parks and a favorite spot for Manila dwellers to relax on weekends. But more than just a bright, breezy place to hang out, Rizal Park is a historical site that holds great significance for Filipinos. The vast 58-hectare park is home to the Rizal Monument, which houses the remains of the Philippine national hero, Jose Rizal, at its base. Here you can even visit the very spot where Rizal was executed by the firing squad. It's marked by a life-size diorama illustrating his final moments. In addition, you'll also find statues of many national heroes, two beautiful gardens, the Chinese garden and the Japanese garden, and Manila's very own point of origin, Kilometer Zero. Any trip is incomplete without the food, right? You cannot really have a perfect trip without exploring the local street food of that place. Manila is home to one of the best street foods in Asia. The authentic street-style food made with exotic spices and herbs is gonna make you drool. The dishes here are mostly boiled, fried, and seasoned with salt, peppers, soy sauce, garlic, etc. Another interesting thing to know is that the Philippines has a wide variety of street snacks, some sweet, some savory, and mostly bizarre to Western tourists. Most of the street food vendors can be found outside schools, public transport stations, and on every sidewalk with high foot traffic. Have time for parties? Well then Makati is the best place to try. It's one of the country's biggest business districts. If you're looking for a world-class hotel, then there's no better than its central business district located along Ayala Avenue. Makati is also famous for its shopping hub and Makati Poblacion. It's known for its upbeat nightlife and is one of the best places for dining, drinking and shopping. The area around Kalayan Avenue is packed with dive bars, street foods, and live music events. Makati Poblacion is also home to the high-end lifestyle hub Rockwell Center and avant-garde art galleries like the Pineapple Lab. What's even better is that there are accommodations available for any budget, from backpacker hostels to lucrative hotels. La Mesa Eco Park is a wild jungle carved into a forested recreation park in 2004. The breathtaking park is a carbon sink, absorbing 3% out of the total carbon emissions that make Metro Manila slightly polluted. An eco-friendly park has been designed to provide foreign visitors and locals with lure and spectacular environment. The La Mesa Eco Park is home to a vast array of wildlife. A nature's park with its scenic and green living, endemic species of plants, and some animal species. The Eco Park's forest is zoned, open to mountain biking, hiking, and educational tours. You can also enjoy the rest of your stay in La Mesa Eco Park when you go horseback riding and overnight camping. In search of an escape from stressful areas and high-energy exuding city, the La Mesa Eco Park deserves to be your next breathtaking destination. Those who love a good bargain better not skip this one. 
Green Hill Shopping Center is every Manileño's go-to place for anything and everything they might want to find at the most affordable prices. Shoes, clothes, tools, party favors, school supplies, gadgets, souvenirs, Green Hills has it all. And you won't find a better bargain anywhere else in the metropolis. Anytime you need new outfits for a trip or want to find accessories for your phone, make sure to head here. The Manila Ocean Park is one of the most unique adventures in the city and one of the top things to do for families visiting the city. Get interactive with marine life with the sharks and rays encounter, trails to Antarctica, or the fish spa where fish clean your feet in a small pool of water. The park easily fills several hours depending on how many encounters you try. Manila Ocean Park's main draw is its 25-meter glass observational tunnel, which offers great views of the underwater life. It's a great opportunity to see stingrays gliding overhead, as well as sharks, eels, and other varieties of fish. Going into the oceanarium, you'll see aquariums that hold a number of freshwater species, including the popular Aripaima, a native of the Amazon River. They're huge! San Agustin Church is one of the most well-preserved buildings in the Intramuros that still does the same function. Originally built in 1571, it underwent reconstruction in 1587 because of pirate attacks and fire. Since it was reconstructed, it has withstood wars and earthquakes. This gorgeous Baroque church features a Renaissance facade, trompe l'oeil ceilings, and a collection of art dating back to the Spanish occupation. The art alone is enough reason to visit San Agustin Church if architecture doesn't move you. Whether or not you're an art or history buff, you're sure to appreciate the many national treasures on display at the four-part National Museum Complex. At the Museum of Fine Arts, you'll find renowned Filipino painter Juan Luna's Spolarium, the Philippines' largest and most famous painting. Meanwhile, there's the complex's latest installment, the Museum of Natural History. It's quite the gorgeous work of architecture that houses the skeletal remains of Lolong, the largest crocodile in captivity. Aside from this, the complex also houses the National Planetarium and the National Museum of Anthropology. Take your pick of the four museums or set aside a day to marvel at all the beauty this institution has to offer. A welcome sight against peaking skyscrapers, Intramuros is a walled city that is often dubbed as the heart of Old Manila. It's the oldest part of the city and dates back to the Spanish colonization period. Its thick walls have stood through time and entering them will take you on a trip back in history. This iconic Manila landmark is actually a walled area within the modern city. It was the seat of government and political power when the Philippines was still under Spanish rule. This place lets you travel back to the times of the Galleon trade and have a closer look at Philippines history up close. The Intramuros is an important time capsule of Manila, showing dungeons from the Japanese occupation and the damage that followed the wars. You can see Fort Santiago, San Agustin Church, the city walls, and many other historic buildings here. It's free to visit the Intramuros, but you'll pay the price to do the tour on a horse-drawn carriage. Come and enter at your own risk at Asylum, Manila's newest haunted house attraction that's located in New Manila, Quezon City. You'll be thrilled to know that this former psychiatric institute is ready to give its visitors a spine-chilling adventure upon entering the premises. After all, everyone will have to walk through creepy laboratories, morgues, operating rooms, crypts, and dark claustrophobic hallways for at least one hour. The rooms and hallways are not only scary, but you'll also come face to face with the monsters and demons that are similar to the scariest characters that you'll see in movies. If you want to know who these monsters are, gather your courage and enter Asylum so you can meet them in person. It'll surely give you the scariest experience of your life. Be sure to take your time visiting each of the city's popular destinations so that you can experience the rich and fascinating heritage of Manila. That wraps up the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up.